Hello guys and welcome to next round of Apex Online Racing. This is round four and we are at the Silverstone. It should be nice overcast weather, so everything should be fine and uh, we should have a nice clean race with some clouds. So it's gonna be really interesting. There is a lot of fast people again, a lot of quick Ferraris as well. And my teammates are on fire, especially Omen and Leon as well. So it's gonna be interesting as if I will be able to outrun everyone. So I'm going for a qualifying and I'm gonna show you probably my lap time and we'll see. Okay guys, qualifying is over and oh my god, <laughs> check the lap times. I have been 5 tenths of the second behind my best lap time because I couldn't just hit it right, I was too afraid and I used different setup, that's uh, the reason probably and wow, <laughs> I have no words, I have never seen so, much, so close qualifying in this series ever. Wow. Load my setup for the race. <laughs> this race is going to be probably insane. The field is closer and closer and closer each race, which is obvious because everyone is working on their setups and, uh, and stuff like that. And it pays. So you can see Ferrari, Audi, Ferrari, 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 Ginetta, BMW, Lamborghini, BMW. Oh my God. And top four have been close like this <laughs> oh man i'm wow i'm shaking i'm shaking shaking <sighs> okay, good thing is i got a pole position i'm starting first and that's a good advantage for the start at least for rumble in first few corners <clears throat> Okay, we are going for the rolling start now. I have a bit of an advantage. I'm on the inside line for the first corner. I can choose when we will storm it out. So, yeah. One hour to go. 
it's gonna be interesting. Please, Ferrari, work with all problems and those tires and no slipstream or anything. I need a dollar, dollar, dollar is what I need. A beautiful start. Oh my god. Bit of a rumble. Oh my god. Omen or someone. Leon got involved in a crash with Tidney. I don't think it was Tidney's for, but they got squeezed by my teammates. It's a shame. Oh my god. Both of my teammates are gone. What the hell? What the hell, guys? Pops on the second place, Marfi on the third place, Faba is my fourth, oh man on the fifth place, oh my god, what happened guys there? Oh Pops we got a drive through for something. What? I didn't know you can get a drive through, but he probably overtakes someone before the start or I don't know. That's really good for me, because TJ and Pops are behind me with Leon in the championship, but oh my god, my teammates are gone. Oh man, he's not even in the top 6, what the hell? No! Papa Iceman made it on the third place. Look at that, I have 3 seconds lead because my team and Santijni went crazy in the first corner. It's really a dangerous place, I really don't like the first corner in Silverstone after a star because it's really a uh, tight corner, high speed corner and yeah. There have been a lot of, pro when I did my World Freshest Gamer competition in a qualifiers, there have been a lot of incidents there and I have been so lucky to not get collected there. And look at that, I have three and a half second lead after the first lap. Wow. That's a shame. That's a shame. I'm so sorry for Tijni because he did beautiful qualifying. I'm so sorry for my teammates. Oh my god. I think they were they went all three wide there into the first corner. And yeah, they just touched or something. Need to take a look on the replay after the race, but. Oh my god, Ooh, at the start, three and a half seconds lead, five Iceman, Murphy, I don't know who the other guys are. Well, this is exactly what I needed for a star, but I didn't really want it to have my teammates collected. That's a, uh, uh, I have no words. I really wanted to have a top 3 uh, finish with my teammates, but... <sighs> Damn it. I hope you guys are enjoying the Apex Online Racing series. We are in the Elite League so far. Uh, we have this is fourth round in Silverstone. I won the previous three rounds, even the race in a complete rain in Red Bull Ring, which was really crazy. And yeah, uh, I have been really on fire uh, for the first couple of races. I have had some luck probably as well because some people got collected and the crashes and everything. Uh, I had some serious, like, very decent pace, I would say. I'm not very happy with my pace, to be honest. I could, I know I could go a little better, but uh, yeah, it's working so far, which is very important. It's very important for me. So I, I hope you are not bored or something in these races, because I'm just leading the race. And yeah, nothing going on. But uh, yeah, let's 
racing, you know, sometimes. <laughs> you can be in a super serious battles all the time. Sometimes you have to just go for it. And this uh, championship is very prestige and I really want to perform as best as I, as best as I can. You know, it's not fun race. This is race for a trophy. <laughs> Improving the lead a bit. so good improving the lead a bit just a tiny few tenths a sec per, per lap <laughs> Have to be really careful not to oversteer the car in like two or three corners this one this one was the one of them and yeah the next few corners are coming just need to be really calm and easy I have I'm using very oversteer setup because I really like when my car is uh, is steering, and sometimes you have to make it oversteer. So yeah, that's what I like. It's one of my like driving styles is uh, just oversteering car, prefer it than understeer. I can work with understeer, but I really prefer oversteer. Man, I wonder what happened in the first corner. This is one of the dangerous corners. Uh, oh yeah, the weather should change during the race, I forgot to mention that. Uh, not like it started raining or something, but it's gonna be like sunshine, overcast, cloudy, <laughs> something like that. Watch out for penalties, I don't want to get any slowdowns or something. There's a bit of sun you can see, a bit of sunshine. <laughs> yeah, I'm improving my lap times. I'm like a half a second faster than Popsu probably. You can feel the oversteer on the brakes. This tooth corner? I just... I shouldn't probably say the names of the corners if I don't know which is which. <laughs> Apologies. Sixth place, wow. Ooh. Did you feel that? That oversteer. If I would continue, I would just spin. Uh, I don't like my setup. I don't like my setup. It's like, I don't think people will be able to raise that. And Popsu didn't serve his drive to penalty, so I think it's a bug maybe. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry if I'm not talking too much in this race. It's because my girlfriend, my pretty princess, is sleeping behind me right there. And 
and I really don't want to disturb her. We had a crazy couple of last weeks in work because I have to I had to wake up at approximately 5, 6 a.m. every day, which we usually don't do, but we had to for the last few weeks. And it's hopefully gonna change next week <laughs> and I will be able to sleep a bit more. <laughs> This Saturday I have my first uh, my first Mercedes Virtual GP race. It's an offline racing series in the Czech Republic. We have a real sponsor, real prize money and everything. Uh, I'm representing Trustmaster in this series and we are racing with Mercedes GT3 AMG car in Imola. It's uh, only like 12 people, people on the grid. We are in this like, uh, what's it called? We are all in the same place, like it's a, on, we are on the computers, they are on the LAN and we have all the same steering wheels and everything and so on, so on, so on. So it's very difficult and we are racing on Assetto Corsa and I really don't fancy that because I'm not racing Assetto Corsa for a long time. I don't, I, I, I have been always like fast but I never been top in that game because it just doesn't suit me well, like I can't do the setups and everything. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna be interesting season. I really am not looking forward for that, and I, w I hope I will grab my camera someday and I will just show it to you guys. How does it look over there? And yeah, there's gonna be a live broadcast, but it's gonna be in my language, so you will be able to watch that on my Discord channel and on my Facebook channel. <laughs> on my Facebook channel, on my Facebook page if you want. So wish me luck guys, I really need it because there are a lot of faster people there than I am, but uh, I'm, I'm fighter, I'm gonna fight for a win. <laughs> I'm gonna try the best. Yeah, 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 yeah. If not, I'm gonna leave it and drive and play Fortnite. <laughs> because I'm addicted to play Fortnite. I really like the game. People in my Discord can really say that because I'm posting screenshots all the time. <laughs> mm. A bit overheat the tires now. Yeah, need to be careful. Need to be a bit more careful because my tires are overheating in these conditions before it's gonna get more cloudy. As you can see, I'm not driving on 100% because uh, I want to avoid mistakes, I want to avoid any like mm, dangerous situations and everything, so I'm trying not to oversteer the car and find out what it's gonna do on these conditions because I don't trust the car. Is this this oversteering or is this gonna be slow down? No. And uh, yeah, so. Conditions change every every now and then and during this race so I have to be prepared and avoid all the mistakes. If you guys want you can follow me on Twitter. I tweet a lot and you can check our Discord server where we do some of the community races and we have a small community talking over there and everything, doing stuff, playing games. And yeah, you can follow me there. I have also a Facebook page if you want. And don't forget to subscribe for my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate that. Any feedback, any likes, any comments is really appreciated. Yeah, my, my lap times dropped really fast. Tires are getting warm and tires are getting warm. I can't talk today because my mouth is so dry.
I'm small, shortly. Distance between me and Popsu, which is really important. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You just lose grip and you have to break or just catch it right away. You can't go like sideways or something because you wouldn't be able to catch that. It's like the... I don't know. I don't fancy that on the physics in Project Cars, but... What you can do? <laughs> I hope you understand what I mean. It's like... You get into a corner, you're gonna oversteer sometimes, and it's like oversteer, like a weird one, it's just sliding really slowly, and yeah, it's really hard to catch that. Wow. I need to do. I, need, I really want to build like 10 second lead at least. It'd be really nice. And Teach Leon is on a sixth place. I think either Omen or Leon they wait for him because they didn't want him to get a, like an extra penalty or something if they crashed him. So that's nice for me. Really fair play. It's a shame for Teach but I think he will be able to. Make it on a podium, we'll see, we'll see. Oh my god, my lap times are so terrible. I'm sorry. The corner that really scares me with my setup or with Ferrari is the corner in front because the car just won't always steer there so dangerously just sliding in the front even on the back minutes to go, so far so good, 7 seconds lead to pop so almost 10 seconds to Papa Iceman. Wow, it's behaving dirty. <laughs> oh, look at the sunshine. My car is so, so weird <laughs> in the handling. I wanted to, Im I hoped it will improve the grip, but it didn't. <laughs> But I think everybody else is having the same problems, maybe. Because, yeah, I'm pulling away. Murphy 4, 10 seconds, right behind Fab Iceman. Oh, Murphy did a mistake, he drops a bit. He's now fighting with Tijni and uh, Zal. Good lap time, finally. You can see that I'm so careful. You can s you, 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 you maybe s say, wait, well, he's leading, but he's driving really slow. And uh, yeah, I don't blame you. It looks like that, right? <laughs> it looks really easy. <laughs> but it's not, trust me. I'm trying, I'm just... Hundred percent focus. Oh yeah, oversteer. I like that. So Murphy fighting with Zal and Tijni. Did you guys enjoy the race in Red Bull Ring? Because it was so crazy in the uh, raining conditions with a lot of uh, people getting uh, lapped. 
and Leon right behind me all the race long. I really enjoyed that race actually. It was really awesome. When I was watching the stream, uh, the footage, I really have seen it. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Slippery conditions, sliding all the, all the time. It was awesome. like super fast but uh, my times are very consistent as you can see very consistent I really like Silverstone such a nice track it's not uh, such a nice country everything I really like England and I really like watching GT3 races there in TV like Pan GT my favorite series I'm just driving carefully enjoying and just yeah just trying to make it to the finish without problems And the more time uh, I will pull away from Popsu, the more mistakes I can make <laughs> before the end of the race. Because anything can happen. <laughs> For example, I had a fun race at Norris Ring in race room with DTM. I was leading two laps to go by 12 seconds and I got destroyed by a back marker and we kinda worked the racetrack and I finished third. So. That's uh, why I really, really like like some kind of let's say five to ten seconds gap between the people behind me because you can have like one slowdown, one half spin, or something like that. Just doing the calculations during the race. Beautiful sunshine, beautiful weather in Silverstone. Eight second lead to Bobsu. lot of laps on this racetrack uh, in a world versus gamer competition it's so crazy I've done so many laps so much practice you have been you, the, the key for doing like fast lap times have been like you have to be drifting a bit like sideways all the time in the middle of the corners brake really hard and stuff like that it's crazy crazy and I'm really happy with my with my result. I was fourth in the Air Factor 2 finals. Which was really important for me because it was my first time driving Air Factor 2 and last time. I can't see the. I can't see where my teammates are. They are probably not in the top six, so yeah. Even a one second penalty. Wow. Still fighting with Zal. <laughs> Have you seen the reaction? 
I just step in on a brake right away because I knew it's gone. It's lost at that point. Wow. Wow, that was a scary situation. I just wanted to oversteer right away. It just wanted to spin. It was nothing. It didn't say anything. It didn't do anything. It just wanted to spin. Wow. Bitch car. And people say Ferrari is easy. I think it's one of the hardest cars to drive in this game. And a GT3 especially. Because Audi is like super stable. Ginetta is so easy to drive. But Ferrari is such a... It's a fast car. 100%. Yeah. No, no doubt about that. On the straight lines. But on the... Middle corner, exit of the corner, it's so dangerous. That's the reason I'm trying to be as smooth as possible. my car and getting a little overheated engine but Omen promise it's gonna work I hope my engine won't die or something with a little higher temperature interesting that I have like higher engine temperatures the oil is like 104 105% uh, degrees but I'm getting really low and slow like engine damage because usually in the race in the first race like in the circuit of the America it was very cold and I got really like like five or six engine damage during the race now it's the middle of the race and I have only one but I'm how does, how does this work? You know, because I have a higher oil oil temperature, but I'm not destroying the engine. So, how do you damage the engine in this game? Well, I drove like a pussy over there. Teaching it 23 seconds behind me after a spin in first corner. Okay, hammer time! Oh my god! There's a car over there? What the hell? This race is going really well. Only thing I really don't like is that my teammates had a collision in the first corner with Tijni. That's such a shame, man. I think we could have been like fighting top three of us. Maybe I wouldn't be even. Maybe I wouldn't be even leading. I don't know because Omar have been really quick. Leon as well. 
And I won the qualifying just by tiny bit. And guys, you can expect some crazy races in Apex Online Racing Elite League. Because in, uh, I don't know if next race, but I think the race after, we're gonna race in Long Beach. Imagine, 43 GT3 cars in Long Beach. <laughs> See the circuit, one hour, 100% damage. Uh, it's gonna be. I, I was just. I told myself I really need to push and collect as many points as possible before that race, because anything can happen in Long Beach. And a qualifying? I can't imagine qualifying. 43 people on one minute racetrack. It's gonna be cars everywhere. I really don't expect. Any good result there. Ten second lead, beautiful. Fab Iceman, beautiful third place so far. Murphy overtook Zal, so he's on the fifth place. Zal on, on the fifth place, Murphy on the fourth, sorry. Lintage is top six. Five minutes to go. This race is going quickly. I hope you guys enjoy even these races because I know it's a bit boring. Me just circling around the racetrack on the first place. But, you know, what can I do? <laughs> I really want the trophy. I really want to win the championship, I mean. I want to win as much races as possible, I want to win the championship if possible, and yeah, just go with the flow on Apex Online Racing Community. Fastest lap of the race so far. Really good conditions. I feel like the conditions are really nice now. And the car is working fine. Except the third corner. <laughs> Pulling away. Just pedal to the metal. Oh, pretty princess is sleeping. Oh, my pretty princess. My poor little girl. That's why I'm racing today really carefully because I don't want to wake up my girlfriend. Which is really tired, so I'm just moving my wheel really silently. Really good so far. I wonder if we will hit the traffic.
perfect conditions for racing in Silverstone. Beautiful sunshine weather. We had an overcast during the start of the race, but now it's beautiful sunshine. from everyone at this point. And maybe pushing too much. <laughs> Ooh. Mark Owens had to disconnect. It's a shame. <sighs> I'm just pulling away so quick. Last three laps. Fastest lap of the race. Really good conditions. Yeah, really nice conditions now. <laughs> seconds to Popsu, 17 seconds to Fabaisman and 20 seconds to Morphe. That's beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at the lap time, I'm just doing qualifying laps right now. See you in the future races, 18 minutes to go. Will be another faster slot time? Wow! Pushing as hard as I can now. Carefully, but pushing. Twenty-eight seconds to Tijin on the sixth place. I think Tijin is second in the championship. This is such a shame about the first corner. One would be really nice during the race. 17 minutes to go. Actually, Fab Iceman is catching. Hope so. It's only two seconds behind him. What the hell?
you like me and Fabaisman found out that now we have perfect conditions. The grip is all right, temperature of the tires is all right. Look at a <laughs> look at a slipstream, split stream, split time. Gonna be maybe zero zero. Mm, yes. I'm fully pushing hard. I hate when the game is shattering. I don't know if you see it in a video. But, uh, video, 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 video. Not with W. I'm trying to pronounce it right, but I don't know if I'm. Maybe first blue fuck of the race. 15 minutes to go, 17 seconds lead. Excuse me. Fourteen minutes to go. One big marker out from the way. I'm very happy that I did a really decent lap time during the race. You probably see that I can push much harder now. In the middle of the race, they have been like a uh, colder or something. Uh, yeah, Pops got a penalty. I think he didn't deserve. But I think when he will finish the race, he will get like 30 seconds or something maybe. And they will change the results after the race. So no worries for him. It's time to during the race, guys. Come on. Ignore it, mate. Ignore it. I would ignore it. Another fastest lap of the race. to go, come on, let's bring it on. Yeah, I think so too. Just ignore it, mate.
Look at the beautiful sunshine, beautiful weather at the end of the race for the uh, finish. It's gonna be fight for the sec first place maybe. Oh, Iceman is getting called by Morphe. Look at that. There's only half there's only one second between them, eight tenths of a second between Papa Iceman on the first and Morphe on the fourth. Morphe got a penalty, one second penalty, but the uh, I think Asma has some serious pressure from behind, which is shame because he's two seconds behind Popsu. We could have made some pressure on him. my lap time so far during the second half of the race twenty seconds to pop soon Murphy is just um, almost just a second behind the vice man wow Oh my god, it's gonna be fight for a second, maybe first place. <laughs> Eight minutes to go, guys. As if I'm gonna win this, I'm gonna be so happy. It's gonna be, if I'm gonna win, it's gonna be four frames in a row. I have 20 seconds, so 20 seconds were decent. Very decent gap between first and second. So happy with the lap times because usually in the previous races we did the fastest lap in the first five laps and then you couldn't hit the time. I'm just improving in the end. I'm gonna be 
supposed to stop now. Almost. Murphy got on the second place, on the third place. Wow. Big, big fight for the third place. That's unbelievable. Five minutes to go. There's a question if Papa Iceman will be able to hold on with Murphy. Murphy got a one second penalty. Faces on the sixth place. I wonder what happened to my teammates. Such a shame. Again. Yes, there is. Three minutes to go, so it means two laps to go, probably. Right on Murphy, that's exactly what he needs. But the time schedule, he's three tenths of a second in front of him after a penalty serve. <laughs> Two minutes to go. Okay, guys, we are going for the last lap of the race. The one hour race, 23 second lead on the second guy, the Popsu, Murphy fighting with Fab Iceman on third place. It's absolutely incredible! Yes! Let's bring it home! Winner, winner, chicken dinner! <laughs> What my girlfriend always say when I win in Fortnite <laughs> because I said that in a PUBG <laughs> a couple of times.
It's exactly what I wanted. Four races in a row, without any issues, without any problems. The only thing I regret is my teammates that are somewhere, I don't know, they crashed in the first corner, which is really unfortunate. And yeah, nothing we can do about it. Both Leon and Oman will probably regret that, but uh, we will come back next time around, next next race, and next week. Stronger, better, Actrovision community team going for a win. <laughs> Am I the best or what? Winning by 24 seconds, damn it! Yeah, 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 yeah. Super race guys, absolutely awesome race, incredible, incredible. Where is everyone? <laughs> That was Leon probably, 100%. Look at that, Fab Iceman made it. Actually, Fab Iceman made it on the third place. Pops to second. Wow. Absolutely awesome. Congratulations, Popsu. Congratulations, Fab Iceman. Congratulations, Murphy, Zal, and Faith IC, Vernox for the beautiful place. Beautiful race, guys. Let's go for an interview. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. And right then, gentlemen, uh, apologies to. Uh, Got you off mid conversation there. Thank you very much for uh, making yourselves available to talk to us. First of all, I want to talk to Mr. Iceman. What a battle you were having with uh, that flying Janetta towards the end. How was that race for you? <laughs> that was one hell of a race for me. That was that was so interesting. Um, I had yeah such an intense battle with Murphy there, and I gotta say, um, well, great move by him. Like really well done. That was super hard to defend. He was he was just faster than me. He was quicker, and yeah, I don't think I could have done much there. Were you aware that he had a, a one second penalty that you had to stay in in front, uh, you know, stay within that second barrier to him, or or was that a welcome surprise when you crossed the line? No, actually, I knew it. I saw it. He had a one second penalty, but I said to myself, like, forget about that penalty. I want to stay in front of him. Whatever whatever happens. And yeah, then when he overtook me, I actually realized, oh yeah, there is still this <laughs> one second penalty. So all I was focusing on uh, keeping close, staying close behind him. Awesome stuff. Right, next man I want to talk to is Leon. Yes, Not hello. <laughs> hello to you. So I think it's fair to say there was a bit more of a struggle for you this week than, than, than your race last week. So what, how did the race go for you? Um, well, it, it was really good because I was uh, overtaking t uh, for second position in the first corner, and then I get punted in the back by Iceman. It, mistake from him, no harm. I don't. I, don't know, I know he's a clean driver, but by that my race is over, and uh, I have to fight my way through uh, traffic. And everyone wanted to defend, and especially the BMWs, they're so fast. So uh, um, it was really hard to fight back, and. Um, Vernox uh, was really defending all the time. I, I didn't really understand why though, because uh, we were close to Nesterovich and uh, he knows I'm faster, so he's just holding us up both. 
Um, I, I personally, I would wait it for me to pass the stairways and maybe pass him. So we both can slow down a lot. That's unfortunate because I believe me, Oman, and Jadio would probably could have taken the three podium. But uh, yeah, shit happens. It happens indeed. Speaking of which, Nesterowicz, what a, uh, after a, a, a not so great qualifying to come through well within the top 10. So uh, how are you feeling after that one? Yeah, I'm, uh, it's hot, of course. <laughs> it's <in> the, <laughs> And I the nerves are pretty high, but yeah, you're right about the qualification. It, uh, I was pretty sad about it because I was doing a, a, what do you call it? In the qualification, I did uh, one point V or something. One five and I, uh, in, I've the, done a, a what do you call it two zero zero point five mm -hmm. just twenty minutes before um, oh, wow. a couple of times so I could have been P five yeah. so that felt bad starting <laughs> in the back well what a, a great recovery drive from you and I happen to uh, go through this quite quickly because we do have quite a few drivers in the combos with this Tijni speaking of the uh, run of the Audis. You had uh, it looked like you had quite a lot of work to do out there. How was that race for you? Um, I, well, I was actually <laughs> first corner was a bit hectic because it was like three wide into the first corner. So, uh, yeah, just got a bit of damage there, and then I'm just trying to survive at that point. I had no front arrow, literally zero. It was that damage. Wow. Yeah, that must have been uh, quite hard work for you at a track like Silverstone. Oh yeah, I, I mean, I, I fancied my when I saw the qualifying times, I fancied my chances a little bit because I did 159s like literally just before I joined, and then I got to the race and I knew I could do two minute ones, low two minute ones, and I just couldn't. After that damage, I just couldn't get anywhere near that, so I was just surviving and just hoping for the best. And then Nesto was coming and I was like, okay, he's my teammate. I'll let him go, see if he can catch Sal, but just not enough time. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we, we we didn't quite see the pass, um, but so we kind of we wondered whether it was um allowed through or whether there was a pass made he's a good but, teammate uh, <laughs> absolutely it's, <laughs> it's been great fun to watch and finally we of course have to speak to our race winner jardier once again you were just completely untouchable so uh first things uh, i have to ask a few things are you burning oil in your fuel um <laughs> are you running underweight yeah no it's, it's a great race uh for you. i mean you were just you must have gotten bored out there once again completely on your own no i never get bored on these races but <laughs> actually i was really like struggling in the qualifying and uh, on at the start of the race i was really looking forward to the fight with omen and leon and tijni as well and when i seen in the mirror the turn one free wide going into the first yeah. corner and none of them came out of it i was really like uh, i felt really sorry for the guys because after first lap i had 3.5 seconds lead against Popsu and I just knew that uh, if I will not make any mistake I will just improve the gap and I felt really strong during the race especially in the second half of the race I was just pushing as hard as I could and everything worked out and I was really just sorry about my teammates who, who got out in a first corner and it's that that's the nature of the beast unfortunately so I, I did say that if, if you're if you've wrapped up the uh, championship before the end of the season we we might uh, consign you to start last and see how you do. I'm f up for the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> but we will see. Uh, we will see when we get to that point. Uh, we're going to wrap it up at this point. Uh, thank you very much, of course, to our drivers for putting on an incredible show. It's a uh, great fun for us commentators to, to talk about. Thank you very much to those that have been with us in the stream live. It is a great honor and a pleasure to commentate for you guys. Thank you, Fizzy, for keeping me on the straight and narrow in the combat. As always, it's a great pleasure, good sir. Yes, likewise, and uh, hope everyone will be back once again for Road America in a week's oh, time, where it all started in the AOR GT3 leagues, and we return there once again. And then where my GT3, where my commentary journey for AOR began two years ago. That's uh, which I'm sure I will reminisce about when we get there next week. So uh, thank you very much to those uh, sitting on the stream. It's a great pleasure, as, as mentioned. We will see you back here next time for more AOR action. Thank you very much, and... Good night. And we are off air. Whoop. 99 <clears throat> peak concurrent. Hey, Jadia. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Oh, damn it. That's you annoying. You can uh, <laughs> see if you can uh, get more passes than I've had already this season. <laughs> that, that should be a challenge, you know, like first race was from 29th to 12th. 
and the uh, wet race was from 23rd to 12th. It would be nice to challenge that at the end of the season. <laughs> pace, I'm sure you can do it, yeah. Amazing driving. Well, it was amazing yeah. driving for you when you are driving from the last position, almost. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Maybe you should improve the qualifying. <laughs> I really felt bad about this qualifying, really, come on. Oh yeah, me too. I was half a second, second off the off. pace. Yeah, I was half yeah. a second off the pace. What happened yeah. to the start with the guys? What, what, what happened? Hey, it was hey, it was chaos. It was Free white. complete <laughs> utter men. Yeah, it was just completely mad. I'm gonna have to uh, head off. I'm afraid, gentlemen. Thank you very much, uh, as always, Jens. Safe journey, Fizzy, for your upcoming flights and what have you. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. So See you next week for next week's. Thank, thanks a lot. <laughs> See you next Cheers, week, guys. guys. Thank you. Yes. Bye. See you.